Grade 8 Math, number 15.2c. We're going to create a relative frequency table. So Talis sold t-shirts and made a frequency table to analyze the sales. So this is just a basic, plain old frequency table. Okay, I'm going to turn this into a relative frequency table. So we can see that it's just listing what occurred. That she sold 20 red shirts, 30 blue ones, 10 green ones, and that it totals 60 shirts. So we can convert this table into a relative frequency table that uses decimals, okay? So 20 out of 60 is 20 divided by 60, that's 0.333, so we put the bar over the top to show it's a repeating decimal. 30 out of 60 is half, that's 0 0.50, that's 30 divided by 60. And 10 out of 60 is 10 divided by 60, that's 0.16, and the 6 repeats quite a ways, and then there's a 7 at the end. So I'm just going to round it to approximately 0.17. And that should give us 60 over 60, 20 and 30 and 10 equals 60, and we slide the denominator over, and when we add the 33, the 50, and the 17, we get 1.00. See? We convert it into decimals from just being a frequency table. We can do the same thing again and turn it into a relative frequency table that's using percentages because this 0 0.33, 0 0.50, and 0.17 can be turned into percentages as 33%, 50%, and 17%. And when we add them together, we get 100% like we're supposed to, and it works out real well. See? So just remember when the decimal gets totaled, it should be 1.00. For percentage totals, it should be 100%. And any fraction totals should be the same numerator as denominator, like the 60 over 60, OK? So it's got to have the same numerator and denominator so it'll equal 1, all right? OK, we're going to talk about making a two-way relative frequency table in the next video. 15.2D. I hope I'll see you there. Bye.